Live and at large, it's the one 9 -11 mystery that endures. World Trade Center building number seven. You hear that? Keep your eye on that building. It'll be coming down soon. They were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. And so the first one was likely an accident. The second one was an attack. And the third was a declaration of war. The publication of the Bush memoir fills in some of what we did not know about 9-11. But no official account so far addresses the issue now being raised in an extraordinary ad campaign. I lost my son. My nephew. My uncle. My son. On September 11th, 2001. Most people don't know that a third tower fell on September 11th. World Trade Center 7, a 47-story skyscraper, was not hit by a plane. Although the official explanation is that fire brought down Building 7. Over 1,200 architects and engineers have looked into the evidence and believe there is more to the story. Up until now, only those considered nut jobs question the official conclusion that office fires caused by the nearby catastrophe of the towers collapsing brought down building number seven. But I do believe that it is the first time in history that fire has ever melted steel. I do believe that it defies physics for the World Trade Center Tower 7, building mm -hmm. seven, which collapsed in on itself. It is impossible for a building to fall the way it fell without explosives being involved. And if explosives were involved, that would mean that the most obnoxious protesters in recent years are right. If you hear the shouting, it's a group of demonstrators who've come. 9-11 uh, was an inside job. Oh, get a life. Get a life. 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Geraldo Rivera, and that noisy demonstration was more than two years ago. But the folks behind that TV ad you saw earlier are not so easy to dismiss as those demonstrators were. And what caught my eye is their claim that more than 1,300 architects and engineers examined the evidence about Building 7's collapse and disagree with the official report issued by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Building 7 was no ordinary building. Among other key tenants, including several intelligence and law enforcement agencies, it also housed New York City's Emergency Operations Center, known as Mayor Giuliani's bunker. Here to tell us what they know about its collapse and why they question the official conclusions are Bob McElvain, whose son died in the World Trade Center, and Tony Zambotti, a mechanical engineer. Nice to see you guys. Welcome. Thank you, Welcome. I, 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 Nice to meet you, Rod. You know, our condolences, obviously, for your loss. But, Tony, let me start with you. You're an engineer. Are you suggesting that the official account that Building 7 collapsed because of the fire melting the steel or in some other ways, uh, you know, uh, destroying the integrity, the structural integrity of the building, that that's false. You think that that's false? Yes, I do. And, and for a couple reasons. One is that uh, Building 7 came down, it, it went into a sudden collapse across the full width and left of the building for 2.25 seconds, which amounted to 105 feet or eight stories, eight 13 foot tall stories. It was in full free fall acceleration. That is impossible because in a natural collapse, columns would have to buckle. When columns buckle, there is a minimum resistance. It's asymptotic, if you know what that means. That means it never goes to zero. So it's impossible. You can't reach. So here's, here's what, uh, I guess in layman's terms, just get my hands here, Peter. So what he's saying is that uh, the top floor collapses, hits the next floor, hits the next floor, hits the next floor, so it's bang, 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 the weight of the upper it, floors. It would slow down. down. What I'm trying to say is it was in full free fall acceleration. All of its potential energy was being Instead converted to motion. Instead of what I just described, the thing just collapsed like a pancake. It just came down. And so what are you suggesting stories. brought it down, Tony? I'm suggesting there was some form of demolition devices in that building for eight stories or more. You think that the explosives brought down Building 7? Some form of demolition device. I'm not pretending to know what it is. I am saying that it was in free fall acceleration. All right, let, the let me ask you this. admitted to that. Okay, let, let me ask you this before I get, I get to Dad, before I get to Bob here. We've all seen old, obsolete buildings and public housing in other places outlive their usefulness, being demolished by the professionals who can actually collapse a building right in its own footprint. That's what it looks like happened to Building 7. Do you believe that's what happened? Yes, I do believe that's what happened. And why do you think they're lying about it? I don't really know all the details of what they're lying about. I can't read their minds. All I can say is, scientifically, 
it does not, it's impossible for fire to have done what we see. And these, uh, and these uh, Bob, these 1,300 engineers and architects who agree with you and some of the other relatives' uh, families, I know you found your son just a couple of days uh, after the disaster. He was outside. I don't want to get into the details of how you believe he died, but these architects and engineers, do they support your contention? Do you believe that it was an inside job, that 9-11 was an inside job? Tell you, I, all right, Gerardo, I really... I, look, I believe it was an inside job, okay? I'm here you to believe our government? Right, wait, look, please. But the thing is, this, we don't have enough time to get into the reasons of that. We set up this building what campaign. We saw the... Building what? what the dot the org. org. Building the what dot org. The reason we have that is website. because Judge Lehner, when we petitioned, we had a petition to have a new investigation in New York City about Building 7. And when the lawyers and you're asking the New York City Council. I don't right, want to interrupt we also to right. reopen. So I know we don't have the time, but anyway, he said building what? Because he had no one has a, any idea about building seven. So because I believe in, I've talked to so many firemen, so many EMS workers, policemen who talk about the explosions. And I know you don't want to get into my son, but I feel my son died from an explosion. I went to all the 9/11 Commission hearings. I've you know I've been researching this for nine years. So and what do you want? Let's get to the bottom line I before went, right I, I want truth. I've been lied to. I mean, it's beyond a reasonable doubt that the 9-11 Commission did not tell the story. 9-11 Commission barely mentioned Building 7, if at all. Right. Okay, what forum do you want the investigation in? Well, the <clears> forum, <throat> what we want it is in New York City right now, because New York City, we feel, has an obligation to investigate 9-11. So before we're out of time completely, Bob, do you want specifically the New York City Council to open its own investigation of the Building 7 collapse. Absolutely. And that would satisfy you if they did that? Well, I'm not done. I'm still a parent. I'm a parent who has an obligation to find out why my son was murdered. I'm I, um, f As far as this show and New York City, I want the investigation. That will not be su uh, not sufficient enough. Not heal your wound. I get that. And I I'm, I'm going beyond that. But it's the beginning. But of course it's the beginning, but that's why I support this okay. Building What campaign. Bob McElveen, we thank you. Tony Zimbadi, thank you very much. It is a pr an intriguing topic. I certainly am much more open-minded about it than I was, and it is because of the involvement of the 9-11 families and all these engineers and architects. Clearly, uh, they know more than I do. Uh, thanks, gentlemen. Thank you.